The 2004 tsunami was one of the deadliest natural disasters on record. Aceh province in Indonesia was the hardest hit. More than 200,000 people died or were reported missing, and half a million were left homeless. In the year following the disaster, unemployment in Aceh increased nearly 400 percent, and more than half the population was living in poverty. Adik itu nggak tahu kemana. Sampai sekarang mama dua-dua, mama rumah tua, mama saya nggak ada. Kakak sampai sekarang nggak tahu di mana kuburan orang tu. In response to the disaster, the Indonesian government, together with international aid organizations, quickly mobilized, providing emergency food, shelter, and medical care to the survivors. Kami duit nggak ada sedih kali waktu hari itu. Kami ingin kali biar ada modal, modal usaha, biar anak kami bisa sekolah. Based on its 12 years of experience in microfinance, Gramin Foundation recognized that long-term recovery depended on restoring the livelihoods of the survivors. By providing loans, microfinance institutions can help poor women to start or expand tiny businesses. Gramin Foundation provides funding for microloans and technical support to these institutions, allowing them to reach more poor people more effectively. We as an organization felt really compelled to take part in the, the recovery effort. We'd seen how microfinance could play a really valuable role in the long-term recovery effort following disasters, and that it plays an important part after the relief phase is over and after assets have been replaced and grants have been given, that credit given to women can really help them rebuild their lives. In 2005, Gramin Foundation began collaborating with Mitra Duafa, a local microfinance institution committed to empowering poor communities through microfinance. Soon, Mitra Duafa opened its first branch in Darussalam one of the worst affected towns in Banda Aceh. One of Mitra Duafa's first clients from Darussalam was Rahmati. Mitra Duafa reached out to those hardest hit by the catastrophe. They visited temporary shelters, offering loans to those who had nothing. Kami bilang, mana ada orang tu percaya sama kita, kita nggak ada duit. Ada duit sama kita udah habis kita makan, kita jual uh, apa apa mau diambil beras sama minyak yang ada di rumah apa diambil nanti. She and her family lost everything during tsunami, and were still coping with the loss of her youngest son. Determined to start over and provide for her family, Rahmati took out her first loan to start a business. Pinjaman pertama. Saya ambil untuk bikin modal usaha, untuk apa, bikin kue basah, beli tempat-tempat, beli itu semua, beli gula, beli uh, tepung, beli apa, telur, bikin kue, uh, antar, antar, antar ke kede-kede. Jadi bisa kami tutup untuk mitra doa, bisa untuk uh, jajan untuk anak sekolah, bisa kami tinggal untuk beli barang kami. These loans are based on social collateral. The 30 women in Rahmati's group support one another and hold each other accountable. These women share the same tragedy and have faced the same challenges together. Their weekly center meetings first held in the temporary housing camp where they were all living created lasting friendships and a support system that sustained them through the most trying times. Now, in her fourth loan cycle, Ramati has expanded her business. In addition to making and selling pisang sale, a traditional snack of deep-fried bananas, she now buys bottled water wholesale to sell to her neighbors and local shops. Sampai dari pertama ibu satu tipi nggak ada sampai ibu udah kayak gini sampai besar beli tak beli tanah lagi. In 2007, 
The American Red Cross partnered with Gramin Foundation and Mitra Duafa to expand microcredit throughout Aceh. This support allowed Mitra Duafa to open six more branches that will provide tools to more than 18,000 poor women to restart their lives and regain their livelihoods. Dori is a borrower from one of the newly opened branches. The tsunami leveled the small fishing village where she lived. All of her family members survived, but their home and business did not. Last year, Mitra Duafa loaned her money to build up her small business selling krupu, a traditional chip. What started as a small family business now employs members of her community, transforming their lives and hers. In the four years since Gramin Foundation first partnered with Mitra Duafa, their microfinance services have benefited over 13,000 families in Aceh. Harapan kami dengan progres yang begitu bagus di Aceh sampai dengan saat ini, maka Mitra Duafa bisa berkembang dengan baik dan banyak lagi melayani masyarakat miskin di Aceh. Gramin Foundation and Mitra Duafa have seen the profound impact of microfinance following a disaster and are committed to providing a better life for the poor tsunami survivors of Aceh.